hopefully I think this fish just swam right underneath that kid's kayak <laughs> Last time I was here, I picked up all of these cans and there was a bag here, so I put some of it in the bag and I didn't have a bag big enough to get rid of it all. So I brought one today. All this, all this crap was just in one little 20 foot length of shoreline that I was fishing. Imagine how much crap there would be if I went around the whole lake picking stuff up. Take that out of here with me when I'm done today. Clean up after these slobs. This is my uh, honey sriracha flavor, oats and corn mix. Second time I've tried this worked pretty good. Uh, I think I've probably already published a video with the bait recipe with this. But uh, maybe I'll put a link to it in the description if you're interested. On two of my rods, I'm just running a uh, piece of uh, banana corn and uh, a small chunk of boilie. And in my third rod, I'm just running a triple stack of almond flavored corn. I keep finding more. On. Start the music. Yeah, something I don't like that. Something else, please. That's better. Okay, so I've had little fish messing with this rod pretty much ever since I casted it out. And uh, something finally got hooked up. This feels weird. I wonder if this is a turtle. It's kind of like dead weight. It pulled drag right when I picked it up. Unless it's grass carp. And it's a big common carp. I just caught a glimpse. Oh, there he goes. And he just slowly drifted in here most of the way. crossed underneath this line. This is a good fish, folks. This is a good fish. I've been here about an hour. This guy hasn't fought much. Pulled some drag right when I lifted up on him and just kind of coasted all the way into to in front of me here in, the, in front of the bank. Come on. He's, he's still got, he's not ready to be done. I really can't believe that he didn't get in my other line. He's been swimming back and forth to the left and then I'll pull him back over here. He is way over to the left. Come on. I kind of want to move down the bank to the left but I just, he's right next to the bank down there. 20 feet down the bank from me. I just can't get this fish turned around. I don't want to yank too hard. 
This guy's got energy for days here. He's getting me a little bit worn out. Come on. See him? There he is. Yeah, he's in the net. It's a good fish. We'll get him in here, see what he weighs on the scale. Great fight on this fish. I bet he's gonna be about 18. Hmm. 14, 15, we'll call it 14. Well, this is a great start to the day. 14 pound common carp, I've been here about an hour. Uh, this is one of the smaller fish uh, that I've caught out of this lake. There's, they're much bigger. Hopefully they're gonna, they're gonna be around here this afternoon. Nothing real remarkable about this fish, just a real nice clean looking fish. Pretty huge tail for its size. But uh, we'll get uh, this fish back in the net, back in the lake. I'm gonna turn the right way here. There you go. Get your nose out of the net. There you go. Bye bye, see you next time. So I'm going to give this little bay here another hour. I guess there's a few fish in here. We'll see what happens. But I didn't, this wasn't my really my first choice of places to fish today. But I had that trash over there that I had laid in a pile uh, a few days ago. So I wanted to come over here and pick up that trash. Thought I might as well fish. But I'm going to give this another hour. If not, I'm going to move over to a different spot. Pick it back up then. Stay tuned. Yes. Just thinking about moving to the next spot. Oh, this fish is right, he's on the bank right over there. I gotta get him out of there. No, no, no. What's going on here? This is weird. Okay, now he's out in front of me. Thought he was gonna get in those bushes over there for a minute. This fish is fighting exactly like that first one did. Now he's trying to get in those bushes over there. Oh, no, 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 no. Now he's trying to get under that tree over there. Now he's coming back out in front of me again. This is a crafty fish. Already, Come on. oh, my net's caught on something on the bottom. Oh no! Right, let's try this again. Yeah. All right, that was a weird fight and a weird netting job. This is a chunk. It's not that long, but very, very chunky. Very frisky. Calm down. 17, 18, right around 18. Call him 17 with the net. Oh, 
What a chunk. Look at the belly on this fish. 18 pounds, not very long. He's a short, stout fellow. Nice tail. Pretty clean looking fish. Not missing any scales. Big belly. Wonder if there's eggs in there. Probably. <laughs> Back in the water she goes. Give her a minute here. You ready? Hold on, get your nose out of there. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yes, see you later. Thanks for the fight. Well, I said I was gonna change spots in an hour. And I was just, you know, thinking about standing up and reeling in my lines. So now I got a dilemma. Should I move or uh, there's fish here? I guess you don't, you don't leave fish to go find fish, right? We are back in business. Oh, just broke the surface over there. He is really close to the bank. I'm gonna be really lucky if I get this fish in before he gets, uh, somehow gets into the branches and weeds over there. Sunflower seeds, sorry for the spitting. Just gotta really stay on this fish. Get him over here before it gets in that tree that's hanging over the water over there. Okay, I think we're in the clear. He's out in front of me now and getting tangled in my other line. I'd rather have him tangled in my other line than in a tree. Oh, now I just figured out what's going on, okay. Now he's in my third line. Get out of there. I've got overhanging trees on both sides of me, one on the right and then one on the left. He's really trying to get into that one over there now. No, son of a... <sighs> I didn't even get a glimpse at him. I noticed that the drag was a little too tight and I loosened it a couple clicks. I mean, it's not, it's not that tight. Every time he tugged hard, it, no drag would come out. Maybe it was stuck. Just a boily on the hook bait this time. I don't know why. That's just what I feel like doing. But I am going to dip the boily in the banana, the banana corn. And all three of those fish came on the same rod in the same place as the bait that I had placed closest to the bank. So, uh, reeling in all my baits. Gonna rebate and recast them out. Uh, we're just gonna fish all close to the bank here. I, I don't like doing that a ton because it's pretty much guaranteed tangles uh, when you catch a fish, but uh, I'm gonna risk it, see what happens. So have you ever heard anybody use the phrase, when the wind blows from the east, the fish bite the least? I've heard that said a few times uh, in various places, I don't remember where. But uh, and may maybe uh, something that I like that applies at a particular body of water, you know, maybe something like that got started on uh, Lake Michigan or some one of the big lakes or something like that. 
obviously it's it's very relative to what body you water I, I just i don't think that generalization is useful at all today the wind is coming from the east uh that myth is busted as far as i'm concerned Drag's working good. Hey man, you're getting a little too close. Thanks. I think this fish just swam right underneath that kid's kayak. <laughs> I think he's got my other line. Hey, hey buddy. You got one you got one of my lines. You're hooked onto one of my lines. Hold on a second, I'm fighting a fish. I'll uh, I'll check it in a second. You mind just hanging out? Oh, you know what? You're good. You're not in my line. It's the fish. You're good. Thanks. So, as predicted, this fish is in all three of my lines because I had them all close to the bank. But I don't care. Get in there. Yes! See that tangled mess? <laughs> All right, let's get him in here. Well, with the fish on the bank here like this, there's really no nothing else to do but just start cutting. I mean, this is just not something I'm gonna get figured out in any reasonable amount of time. So I'm gonna cut all the lines and uh, deal with that later. I'm gonna give this fish a bit of a breather for a minute. Still got the hook in his mouth, I just cut the line. I'm grab a weight real quick. While he's still in the net. Hold still, hold still, hold still, still, still. He's an 18 pounder. Ugh, I got slime on my sunglasses. All right, what a bunch of chaos. It's all right, I asked for it, I asked for it. This fish really made me work for it. He's still fighting me. 18 pounds, third fish of the day. Thank you, sir. Got my blood pumping, got me excited. This was fun. This is gonna be it, I'm calling it. Let's go release this fish. Thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next one. He's ready to go, I think. He had, he wasn't out very long. I gave him a breather before I de-hooked him. Just get him to get his nose out of that net. There you go, sir. Bye-bye. See you next time.
Even my scissors are tangled up. I'm gonna be here a while before I get to go home. Yep, it was worth it.